Hi, my name's Gary Lane, and I'd like to welcome you to Midwest, and I'd like to take the opportunity to welcome a good friend of mine, Debbie Reddick, who's here with Midwest with her horse. And we're going to talk a little bit about the canner and understanding the canner with the gated horse. Debbie, can you tell us something about your horse? Um, this is a uh, five-year-old Tennessee walking horse, Skelding, and um, I show him on the uh, NWA circuit as a trail pleasure English horse, and um, Gary's going to help me teach my horse how to canter, so instead of showing in a two-gate class, we can show in a three-gate. That's great, so let's, let's get started with Hemi. Now let me just talk to you about and dispel the, the myth about the canter. Someone come up with the idea that gated horses don't canter, and you don't canter them until they're five or 10 years old or 20 years old or whatever. The truth of the matter is, the quicker you get your gated horse cantering, the better he gets as far as using his shoulders, breaking his shoulders loose, the better, better it makes your horse. So just let me show you a couple ways on how to get a horse to canter that's not been cantered a lot, that's still in learning how to canter. One of the things I do is I turn the horse loose at liberty, and I let the horse just kind of walk around. And if you ever read my book, From the Trail to the Rail, I, I, I tell you that whichever lead this horse takes in the field will always be, you'll always go to the opposite lead. With Hemi, this horse here at liberty always wants to canter on his left lead. So what you want to do is teach him to canter on his right lead. So without going into, we'll go into longer segments of understanding the canter with footfall, but we're going to do just a little quicker one here. So I want to start working on departures. A couple things that I use for departures are this. When I want to be able to bring this horse's hip, his left hind leg, I want to bring it into the center of that ring as I ride this horse. So as I let him walk on, I don't put a lot of pressure in his mouth. I'm going to increase the circle and I'm going to start working on bringing the leg in. And you can almost see, he's almost trying to four beat canter there. So I'll just let him out of it and tell him he's done a good job. So I brought, the, I brought his hip in about a half an inch. So I'm going to come in and do that again with him. I'm going to come around here. I'm going to bring the hip in again, work on a small circle, just a small one. Kind of urge him with my body. There we go. There we go. So we got a departure. That's one thing I can do with a departure. Now, this horse is lateral. He's lateral and he's going. He doesn't walk, trot, and canter like the, a, a quarter horse does by nature. But now let's go and fade him into a canter. Now here's what I mean to fade a horse into a canter by freeing up the shoulder. So here we go. I'm going to turn this horse, let him look this way push the outside shoulder back this way, bring, bring my, let him go into the canter, now boom, I slow that down and say, good boy, so I got a good canter departure there, that was a pretty clean canter departure, so I'm going to praise him and let him go on a loose rein, let him have that canter departure, I'm already getting more back in with this horse, I'm already getting more expression with this horse, and I'm just playing with the canter, so I'm going to fade him in again to the canter, so I'll just bring him back this way. I'll come back this way. I'm going to use this leg, push this way just a little bit to get him started, get him started, get him started. Bring the inside leg back. Let him canter. Let him go right into the canter. There he goes. OK, it's really not difficult to teach your horse to canter. Now he's coming, but right there he's starting to get a little bit better back in, a little bit more of a, more of a light shot type horse. It's not, it's not difficult to get the horse to canter. What's difficult is it in your mind that he can canter. Now, they're going to do some things, you know, you get ready to teach some of your horse to canter, they're going to, they're going to be able to uh, kind of sense that ground and look for some support from you. If you know what you want, bring that hip in. It's nothing more than a, than a, than a, a hind quarters in, then the horse will strike off on the canter just about nine out of ten times with you. And with that, I thank you for giving me the opportunity to share with you, and Hemi thanks you for the opportunity, and I thank Debbie for letting us share with you some of our tips on starting the canter with the young gated horse. Thank you.